Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Sainsbury's. Come and have a look where I've got. Well, when I say I've been to shopping to Sainsbury's, I've been to shopping to Sainsbury's. That's, that's terrible English. This is new. It's not new anymore because I bought this uh, about two months ago. And I bought it fresh. And I put it in the fridge and... You can see by the date, 3rd of October, used by, well, I, I didn't use it, so I put it in the freezer. And I've uh, just got it out now, I forgot about it, so I do apologise for that. Uh, it's a toad in the hole from Sainsbury's pork sausage baked in a crispy beef dripping Yorkshire pudding. There is a serving suggestion, a little traffic light system there, look. Like I say, it's a couple of months old. I had to go onto the um, computer and find out the price. It was £2.50. So let's have a look at the box. Two and a half quid. Totally forgot about it. Now, when I went, had a look on the computer, um, I had a look for it and the new sign has gone. So they are not new anymore. But I've not had it and I do like a toad in the old because of this, this weather out there, minus one. This is comfort food at its finest, isn't it? with mashed potato and some gravy slathered all over it and some peas <laughs> and carrots. You can't go wrong, can you? Or can you? Well, we'll find out. Um, so there is, like I say, a little traffic light system there. Look, uh, 382 calories. It says it serves two. And that is looking, looking like half a portion. You get four sausages. Ooh, tab system. We like that. 340 grams, little GB sticker there. Um, they are the ingredients, look. Um, pork sausage in beef casing, 41%. Pork, 78%. Well, that's quite good, isn't it, 78%? I think the minimum is 42% were allowed. So it's, it's up from 42, isn't it? Um, allergen is wheat and egg and milk. Uh, yeah, four oven baked pork sausages in a Yorkshire pudding. They are the there, there is the nutritional information in more depth. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, please go ahead. Uh, they are the ways to cook. Look, so you do it in the oven. Um, this was frozen. I, I did defrost it. It does say there if freezing at home, defrost thoroughly before cooking. Well, this has been in my fridge for 24 hours, so I'm hoping it has defrosted. Um, oven heat from chilled, 200 degrees, fan 180, gas six for 20 minutes. So let's get this open using that lovely tab system there. Look, see if it works. Let's get into this. There it is. Look. We do like a tab system. Oh, oh, oh no. It's just failed there, look, and it, it, I'll have to, I hope it works this side. Oh, it's not. It's, it's not designed to work that side. It's failed, and I just pulled it off nice and easy. Oh, oh there, there it is, look. Have a look at that. So there, it has defrosted as well. Um, I'm just giving it a finger now, and it has defrosted. We need to get it in the oven now. Um, this is that. Have a look at that and see what you think. There's your sausages, look. Right, so I'm going to get it into the oven and I will bring you back, hopefully, when it has risen about this big. <laughs> it's done. Have a look at that. I mean, yeah, it hasn't risen. I was expecting it to rise, but it hasn't. Never mind. <laughs> um, and looking by the, the picture on the box, look, it's not really risen on the box so that is I would say a tr true representation of what it is like I don't know uh, because it's been frozen I don't know if freezing it has done anything to it as, as obviously it, it's going to do something to it isn't it now it would be interesting if I had a fresh one to see if that rises but judging by the box I'm not holding my breath it does smell good so let's get this let's get it out now it's crying out, it's crying out for gravy, isn't it? Um, and some vegetables and I'd say so a little bit of mashed potato. And I suppose you could share it, couldn't you, really? Um, if you had a load of, you know, veg and mash with it. Um, <clears throat> but it's, it's going to be mine. <laughs> I'm going to eat it, I'm not sharing it. 
Um, because I'm just the only one here. That's why I'm gonna have it. I ain't gonna get wasted. So if you like this, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribe to the channel and let me know. I know you can make your own toad in the hole, and that is the best. I just done a pigs in blankets comparison, and I had fifty odd pigs in blankets to get through. I did a toad in the hole in the evening. And I stuck 30 pigs in blankets in it, you know, so it did get used up. I did that video a couple um, couple of days ago, actually, last week, I think. So let's get into this and see what it's uh, see what it's all about. I'll put that down. I'm having a cup of tea. It's freezing out there, isn't it? So I'm going I'm to try the, the Yorkshire pudding first, and then we're going to get into the sausages. Um, have a look at that. Crispy beef. Dip dripping Yorkshire pudding. Mm. Mm. It is crispy. Mm. It's tasty as well. <clears throat> oh, it is tasty. It's quite sweet as well, I'll be honest. Yeah, it's quite sweet. That's a new one on me. Sugar's a 4.1 white. Right, let's get into the sausages. I've had the old thermometer in there. I'm going to show you the sausages now. 72% pork. Have a look in there. See what you think. And then I'll, and I'll, get, it, I'll get it all together. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, the, 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 it, it's quite loose inside. It's not heavily sort of packed together, the sausage. Um, and it is quite herby as well. And to, the, I quite like them. They're quite nice. Let's get it together. Let's get it all together now. It's well seasoned as well. You can see the herbs in the sausage, a bit like Lincolnshire sausages, dare I say, dare I say. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I did, I did say it. I used to live in, um, well, I used to live in Nottinghamshire, not far from Lincolnshire. Lincoln was like the main town, the well, city, sorry, not it's not a town. I used to go to Lincoln on nights out when I was in the forces. Um, and so we used to get Lincolnshire sausages as well. But I do prefer Cumberland, I'll be honest. But Lincolnshire are nice sausages. There it is. Look at, have a look at that in there. It's tasty. I like it. Mmm. I do like it. It's nice. You know... I do like it when the, the old batter raises like right up, but you know, you can't win them all. It is crispy, it's tasty, and sausage is nice as well, they're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it, I really am. I'm just trying to see if there's any more information on this as regarding, it's packed in the UK by Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's Supermarkets Limited, London. Um, it says here, up at Galway, it says, uh, sorry, and Sainsbury's Supermarkets, up at Galway, Belfast. Um, using pork from the UK and or the EU. Um, want to find out any more, go to sainsbury's.co.uk. I do get lots of messages saying they'd like to know the source of the actual meat. Um, so if you go to that website, you'll be able to, they'll tell you exactly where it's from, I think, I hope. <laughs> Don't quote me on that one. Uh, for use by date, see front of pack, keep refrigerated, do not exceed the use by date. It says it says here, for best quality, freeze as soon as possible after purchase and always within use by date. Once frozen, consume within one month. Well, I've exceeded that, haven't I, by a month. So that is probably, that explains why it's not as risen as, as good as it could have been. Uh, once defrosted, use the same day with, with which it has, it, it was in, been in the fridge overnight. So you can't blame the old, you can't blame that, you can blame me for that one. <laughs> but it still tastes good, and that's the most important thing. 
And you get your own gravy on that, your mint sauce, um, you know, your vegetables and your bits and bobs, whatever you put on it, you know, f get on it like, you know, it's uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it. I'm going to go live next Friday. It's soon come round for the Christmas party, eight o'clock. If you're around and about, um, please join us. We'll be getting some festive beers in and we'll be having a good time. Q&A if you like, um, quiz, it's up to you, let me know on the night and we'll, we'll just go from there. Right, I'm going to get into this before it goes cold, and drink my cup of tea. So thanks for watching, I do apologise it took so long to get out, but there we go, that's just life, that is life. <laughs> Keep smiling I say. I got a lovely message this morning which i will got to tell you about anyway, I know you've probably fallen asleep by now. Um, it was. I got the message on my comments at 20, 25 past eight. Now, I've just got. In, I've just come in from defrosting the car outside, and I got a message from a lovely person from China, and it went like this basically. Um, it's miserable and wet here in China. I've just watched your video and you've made me smile. Now that made me smile immediately. I just thought this channel, this little channel, has gone all the way to China. And someone in China has watched it and it's made them smile. So that made me smile. And that's what it's all about. Right, I'm definitely going now. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.